Welcome to painting outside this beautiful silk scarf with the theme of butterflies. And as you can see, it's just come out of the package, so it still has the grid on it here. And just some fun facts about silk. Silk was originated in China back in 2640 BC, so before Christ. And the legend is said that a Chinese princess had a cocoon drop in her hot tea. And it unraveled this beautiful fiber. And from there they discovered this fiber and they made luxurious garments and have, have taken silk to a whole new level. This is how we have this beautiful silk scarf. Now, before that, you're thinking, well, what cocoon? Well, the cocoon is produced by this amazing Bombay Mori caterpillar that turns into a moth. And the caterpillar has to consume a lot of mulberry leaves from a mulberry fruit tree to secrete its cocoon of this fibron protein fiber. And these little cocoons are like this size of silk and they unravel in hot water. And that's why the legend is said that this cocoon sitting under the mulberry tree dropped in her hot tea and they found this beautiful fiber that they now create luxurious garments out of. And today we are going to paint a beautiful scarf of butterflies on it. So here we go brush today to start painting our background of our leaves um, so that the butterflies can sit on. So how fun is that? So we're going to keep it very simple um, and with silk. Silk is very um, it's kind of like watercolor. It just does its thing. So today we're going to do use a fan brush and we right now are Dipping our fan brush in some beautiful greens and yellows. We're gonna just start to paint our leaves here. Green. Lime green here. And give our leaves a little bit of some hues. Actually, we'll come in with some of our branches. Gonna put one right there. So we're now gonna start to pop in some beautiful butterflies. Um, we are going to do the, it's called a hair streak butterfly. Um, it's a beautiful butterfly of a purple, deep blue with a little tinge of orange. Um, and it has a little bit of a black lining and a hint of white. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to start to paint that butterfly. Butterflies also have different types of wings um, that also define them. And this butterfly's wings are very unique um, at the bottom. They have these little, like, legs. Um, so it's not just a very rounded butterfly. I'm going to outline that butterfly here in our leaves and as you can tell the wind is blowing so the silk is definitely um, starting to to dry
purple blue with a hint of orange that makes this butterfly unique and you can see the wind is certainly starting to take off here we're gonna mix that in here brush here as the colors start to um, come together. Like so, let's see. As you can see, you can start to see Right there. And then we've got a little pierce right there. <laughs> As we're painting. But that's the beauty of painting outside. Oh, and the two just came together. And we're going to put one more. Oh. We're going to paint one more butterfly on there. So as you can see, there's the monarch. And then we've got the hair streak, Colorado hair streak butterfly. This little tips at the lead at the wings and then like I was saying before with the monarch their bottom wing is very rounded all right so now we're gonna do one more and this one is called the um, tiger yellow tail or swallow tail um, Butterfly. It's a beautiful yellow butterfly with a hint of um, black tiger lines. Um, and it's just gorgeous. Well, they're all gorgeous, but um, I think their base will be a nice complement to the different colors here. For the butterfly, we'll have just some pink here, little flowers, and our leaves. Is the completed silk scarf painting outside today of the three butterflies. Mm -hmm.